Welcome back. In this video, we'll be repositioning and notching frame 9 onto the stringer. From the 3D model, we can see that frame 9 is mounted on the front side of rung 9. And if you measure from the back side of rung 9 to the front side of rung number 2, you measure in the model 152.5 inches. But on my strong back, I actually positioned rung 9 1.75 inches too far forward, and hence bulkhead 9 does not meet up with the thick part of the stringers. Therefore, I have to deviate from the plan. Up at the stringer, I'm only an inch and a half off from the proper position. So what I can do is move the strong back legs from the front side to the back side of the rung. With the strong back legs and the rung being three quarter inch thick, the two of them together, when moved to the other side, will move the frame nine back by one and a half inches. As I did with the prior frames, I translate the line on the bulkhead to the stringer so I know how far I need to cut the notch. I saw down each side of the notch. Repeating the process on the other stringer. Cutting the bottom of the notch with the oscillating tool. and chiseling out the notch. And repeating on the port side stringer. I clean up the knot with a mini belt sander to ensure the frame will fit. As you can see, my notches are too big, but I'll fill that up with thickened epoxy. Now for the hard part. I have to move bulkhead 9. I use my hoist to lift the stringers off of the bulkhead. I decided to leave the bulkhead attached to the strong back legs and instead remove the strong back legs and support from the strong back.
but that didn't work because I couldn't lift the bulkhead high enough for the strong back legs to clear the rung. Therefore, I had to take the bulkhead off of the strong back legs. This was an iterative process, so I'll just let you watch it at 8x speed. Next, I reestablished the proper height of the frame, aligning the laser level to the waterline. Again, an iterative process. As before, I add the half inch spacer to ensure the frame is centered in the strong back. I checked to ensure that the bulkhead was still aligned 10 degrees off vertical and attached the strong back leg back to the rung with screws. I lowered the stringers, allowing them to seat on top of bulkhead 9. I adjusted the port side stringer to ensure they were parallel, but I have a better method in the next video. Finally, I placed the frame into the stringer slots. Well, that does it for frame nine. In our next video, we'll be notching and attaching frames 11 through 13 onto the stringers. And as you will see, setting the height of the frames without bulkheads in place is a little bit more challenging. Till next time, cheers.